Hey guys, it's me. Welcome back to another video. I am pre-making content ahead of time so that I'm able to spend family with my uh, Christmas with my family all the way up to January 1st if possible. So we're checking out Endeavor OS today and uh, I I don't I don't know how to say this, but it's it's arrived. <laughs> I haven't touched Endeavor OS since I found Kashi OS and well, Kashi OS does everything I need. So uh, anything else is just a toy. You know what I mean? You ever get that feeling that, uh, that you're wandering around in circles? I know you do. <laughs> so let's begin and get this thing installed and see if anything's really changed for the installer or what comes pre-installed. That's the plan. Alrighty then, let's begin. Let's go and select the ISO. Real quick, it's right here. Good. Perfect. Uh, now we need to tell it that it's Arch so that it could set an absurd amount of RAM. Because why not? Let's give it about 20 gigs and six cores should do it. Let's give it about 100 gigs worth of space because we can spare it. We're just going to uh, rename this to its proper name of Endeavor OS. Okay, sorry about that. I needed to go grab the name. Let's customize before install. Select yes. Immediately set this to just be non-secure boot. Okay. And other than that, I think we should be good to go. We don't need to do anything else. Begin installation. Oh, look at that. It's got the NVIDIA card. Perfect. We don't have that right now because we're inside of a virtual machine. Let's that set this to scale and then go full screen. There we go. Oh my. Ugh. Well, uh, the thumbnails are going to be different from now on. Uh, I found an image that was mocking my existence, so I decided to take it and uh, modify it instead. Made my uh, facial features look nice too. Didn't get this right though gonna have to work on that but everything else was correct i don't wear green i don't only think that is green you know it's funny i thought about the color green but again i got blue eyes so green doesn't really go well with blue found that out that's why i don't really do green anything unless it's a uh, from a wallpaper oh shiny ah uh. <laughs> nice all right, well, it's clearly not going to let me actually change the display resolution. And every display resolution here is a bit wonky, so let's just go with 1080p. There we go. And this should give us everything we need to get going. So let's, uh, mm, let's do this. This will update the mirror so we can download and install the fast as possible. Because again, you want to do this because you don't want to be stuck with the slowest connection possible. Okay, now that that's done, let's do the same thing with mirrors for Endeavor. Let's start the installer and see what we can get ourselves into. Let's do the online installer. Uh, hopefully this ends up going very well now the reason why we have no acceleration is again nvidia's egl is kind of busted uh it's not something that i can fix not something i really want to look into fixing so getting things done it's basic out of the box looking uh gnome which is fine again basic out of the box looking kde uh minus the color change to purple there's no desktop. XFCE is here. Cinnamon is here. <laughs> Sorry, it's a visceral reaction within my DNA to do that. Gnome 2 is here. Gnome 2 is also here. <laughs> uh, yeah, 
there's the good version of KDE, LXDE, and LXQT, and they have I3. Well, in doing something different for once, let's go with GNOME 2. And what do they have in here? So nothing's changed in there. Applications included. Still the same stuff. You see, this is what you do. When the distro isn't broken, don't do anything different unless you absolutely need to. Ooh, LS. Oh, this is, I believe this is different. The last time this was not here. So including the LTS kernel is a good thing. Printing support, the budgie desktop. We get to install everything, including for on select to install vanilla settings. So it doesn't really do much. All right, system MD do. Oh, you haven't included Lemon yet. Hey, Endeavor, uh, Endeavor OS developers, if you are watching this, please allow us to use Lemon. It's an amazing bootloader and it can do snapshots as well. And it's very easy to set up and maintain. It would be fantastic if you could do that. Because honestly, it's grub, but better. So we're going to go with system MD boot here today because I don't trust grub. Uh, I don't think I'll ever trust it. We're going to do swap to file. Oh, you guys still don't have XFS. <sighs> Manual partition. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. We've been, we've been over this. I don't do this. New partition table. Free space. Great. This one is supposed to be, I believe, a FAT32. Mount point to slash boot slash EFI. And I believe it's supposed to be labeled as boot and ESP. Where where's my ESP? Okay, we just label it as boot. That's fine. Doesn't need to really be anything else. And we unfortunately uh, resize volume group edit. I forgot to just put this at like 4096. There we go. And this, mm, create. I'm going to set this as XFS if it's in here. How? It's right there. Okay, I was about to freak out for a second. Uh, mount point and that's it oh I could actually set this as root thank you and as for this I want to edit this to actually set that as booty f5 perfect all right next what do you want must be mounted on slash efi at least blah 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 Yeah, I added one. I did add one. Yeah, I did. All right, so this probably won't boot if I mess something up, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. Perfect. Next. Yep, yeah, there's our EFI and there's our Endeavor. Install now. Great. So you, there you go. You can support them if you want on Open Collective by scanning that QR code. Feel free. Honestly, I would if I could. And uh, I'll be supporting the developers that help you out the most is the best. And even people that are not developers that still help you out the most. Remember to support them. Speaking of which, if you're new here and you're finding this video for the first time, subscribing really helps commenting helps liking the video helps and you become a member on youtube to help support me as well super affordable by the way the minimum's like a dollar 99 yeah and it goes all the way up to 20 dollars. but uh there's actually two people on that i believe or four which is really nice thank you for those people who are members and who are supporting me in that way i appreciate it now this is going to take a little bit of time but if you want to know what it's doing, it's downloading everything required for the install. All right, let's do the very first reboot and see what happens. I almost said reboot funny. <laughs> reboot. Reboot? No, it's reboot. Reboot. Oh, dear. 
I think I've killed it. Yeah, well, they warned us that this would happen. Let me go fix this real quick. How do you not have XFS as an option? I just, I just, I just, I think I realized that this is an X11 uh, session. Oh man, I really don't like Xorg. Even when we were forced to use X11 before Wayland existed, I was never a fan of it. It had way too many problems, way too many issues. And that was back in the day when I, uh, eat that, when I had, what was it called? AMD hardware. Like, I mean, actual AMD hardware. So, yeah. It's never been a very enjoyable experience to have X11 anywhere for me. I don't know, it just never felt right. Alright, so this is what they meant by slash EFI. And this is supposed to be this, and that's fine. And I'm also going to want to format this like that. And I'm going to want to also format this as well so that we can get a fresh start. And now it doesn't complain because I messed up. I did not see the EFI thing there before. Standard PC. No. Uh, Matt's Battle Station. Yeah. Let's be so cliche it hurts. And install once again. Another thing that I noticed is it ranks mirrors anyway. Nice. And once again, don't hesitate to support the developers on Open Collective. They really got to fix that Open Collective icon. All right, this is the first boot. And we're in. We are on Gnome 2. AKA Budgie. Or Bungie. I don't know how they'll say it. Oh actually acquired my uh, full resolution, did it? It did. Nice. Huh. It does not feel accelerated at all, but there it is. Uh, change in one of the Never OS's wallpapers. There's light and dark. Desktop settings. Oh, I feel like I've gone back in time. Like really, 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 really far back in time. Like so far back in time that I just feel like uh, I don't I don't even know how to describe this. Freaky. Bottom panel. Applets. Wow. We're 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 so far back in time, there's applets. Damn. Uh, bottom panel. How do we... How do we move you to the top? Settings. Bottom. Top. Okay. Alright. Create a new panel. Add an applet. Mm, let's add... Icon text list. Bam. Now for you... Are you able to be centered? Restrict to workspace. No. Lock icons only show favored. That's kind of cool. Oh. You know? Bah. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's do 54. Spacing's fine. Automatically high. Transparency none. Dock mode. Oh my god, they've got a dock. But they don't have any rounding. But it gives me a dock, and that's all that matters. Transparency. Dynamic. Raven's already a thing here. Sorry, Pico OS, but Raven's taken. Uh, desktop icons, single... Yeah, this is just GNOME 2 with modifications. That's all this feels like. It's nice. I mean... But it's like... Really old. Even though that this is updated constantly. Like, it just... It's not a modern desktop by any means. It's not even remotely close. It just feels like I've gone back to the year 2008-ish? Maybe longer. I don't remember. 
But uh, let's check out the accessories. It's using Nemo. Graphics is Eyes of Gnome. Which version of Eyes of Gnome are you using? Where's the about page? 47. Okay, the application, that application is fairly modern. Uh, the internet is here, office, programming, sound and video. And there's all the Endeavor stuff, so there's not that much. And there's the firewall that comes with the firewall. Most people love the fact that things come with a firewall. There's a terminal. What terminal is this? This is just the normal average terminal, isn't it? Yeah, the GNOME terminal from GNOME 49. Okay, so this is an amalgamation of different things. Which, again, I'm completely fine with, but there's a lot going on, I guess. Yeah. Uh, is there a out for this? System settings. Uh, this system settings is basically just GNOME settings. Yep, it's just GNOME settings. Oh no, we're using X11. No, no. No, it's not okay. Log out. I don't really like X11 at all. I think I've already told you that, haven't I? Yeah, there's there's no way to change anything about that. Well, that's... So there's nothing really new besides the LTS kernel option in Endeavor OS. And uh, I kind of appreciate it. Again, if something works, don't break it. Don't change it. Just keep going with what you're doing. But changes do need to be made. I would really like for this wallpaper to uh fix its star pattern for one you know you can randomize that stuff right in any type of editor second is um please add xfs as an option please and lemon as a bootloader those are two things that would be absolutely lovely uh, because you could do automatic snapshots on Lemon with ButterFS, and I think that would help a lot of users have a much more stable experience. And if anything goes wrong, they can just go back a snapshot from the bootloader. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. It's been a while since I've done a video about this. Endeavor OS has been an amazing distro uh, for the time that I have used it. Will I probably use it again in the future? Most likely not, as I do have Cache OS. And it does everything and more that I need it to do. And again, we have Pico OS and others. But if you're interested in an almost bare bones experience with nothing truly really modified, well, here you go. Endeavor OS is always the way to go. As I mentioned earlier in the video, if you're new here, subscribe. Uh, commentate, you know, leave a comment, have a conversation, and tell me about your experiences with Endeavor OS, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.